Hello, my dear student. Today I am going to discuss about IGCAC O level physics chapter 1 movement and position. In this chapter, first we have to learn about relation between speed, distance, and time taken. So, here speed equal to distance moved divided by time taken. Unit is meter per second. Speed, remember, speed is a scalar quantity. On the other hand, average speed equal to total distance moved divided by total time taken. Unit, same, meter per second. Acceleration equal to change in velocity by time taken. Unit here, remember, change in velocity unit is meter per second. There is another second divided by second, so meter per second is square. So, we can write symbolically acceleration A equal to V minus U divided by T. So, sometimes there is a question why the unit of acceleration is meter per second is square. Change in velocity, unit of uh, velocity is meter per second, there is another second. So, remember there is a 1 below the 7 of S second. So, meter per second, if we multiply this one, then 1 by S, so meter per second is square. So, we can write meter per second is square or meter per second. Clear? So, that's why unit of acceleration is meter per second is square. If we want to uh, calculate the final velocity, then we can... Uh, rearrange this formula a equal to v minus u by t uh, we can write v equal to u plus a t so v is the final velocity remember final velocity so final velocity v equal to initial velocity u plus acceleration into time if the object moves with constant velocity then we can write distance is equal to speed into time so distance distance equal to speed into time remember distance equal to speed into time we can write distance equal to speed into time there is another uh, relation so if object changes its velocity then we can uh, use average velocity instead of constant velocity so we use this formula only when the object moves with constant velocity constant velocity if the object moves with constant velocity then we use this formula s equal to vt but if the uh, object changes its velocity then we use uh, we use average velocity instead of uh, normal constant velocity so s equal to u plus v divided by 2 into t so initial velocity plus final velocity divided by 2 it is the average velocity so a s equal to ut plus half a t square this is the uh, another formula s s is the distance u is the initial velocity t is the time and half a is the acceleration t is the time so time is square so another formula to calculate the final velocity v square equal to u square plus 2 a s if we uh, want to calculate uh, acceleration from this formula, we can rearrange this v square equal to u square minus 2s. So another important thing for this chapter, uh, scalar quantity and vector quantity. The physical quantity which have only magnitude is called scalar quantity. It has no direction. So remember scalar quantity has only magnitude magnitude what is the meaning of magnitude magnitude means value number or size or size size value number or size like a uh, 5 kg 5 kg here 5 is the magnitude 5 is the magnitude and kg is the unit kg is the unit on the other hand uh, 
if we express a vector quantity, we need magnitude and direction. Magnitude and direction. Without direction, we cannot express the uh, vector quantity. So, say 5 Newton to the north direction, to the north direction, north. So, uh, 5 Newton, 5 is the uh, magnitude, 5 is the magnitude here, magnitude, and N, capital N is the unit, and to the north direction is the, it is a direction, clear? So, to express a vector quantity, we need a extra thing, direction. Without direction, we cannot express the vector quantity. Another thing, uh, there is a formula for a light gate. Remember, light gate. Light gate is used to calculate the speed of, of a moving car or any moving object. So here, is speed equal to length of the cart. Length of the cart. Cart divided by time of interruption. Time of interruption interruption time of interruption here 